going to start them back again. All right, so um, let's talk about Eleanor Roosevelt. Okay, so let's examine how Ele Eleanor Roosevelt changed the role of First Lady, including development of New Deal programs to aid those in need. All right, so um, Eleanor Roosevelt was the First Lady during FDR's presidencies, and um, she was extraordinary uh, for many reasons. But most of all, uh, not only was she smart um, and very caring, kind, compassionate, but she was instrumental in transforming the role of the first lady and the expectations of the first lady of the president. Never before had a first lady taken such an active role. So she was the first president's wife to testify before a congressional committee, hold press conferences, speak before a national party convention, write um, a syndicated newspaper column, be a radio commentator, and earn money as a lecturer. She did a lot of other things too. Um, one of her famous quotes, she has a lot of them, but one in particular is, to handle yourself, use your head. To handle others, use your heart. And that's exactly what Eleanor Roosevelt did. She was interested in humanitarian causes and social progress as a whole for our nation. She was very vocal about these issues with FDR during his presidency and urged him to create reforms to help minority groups and the poor. She traveled all over the U.S. to observe social conditions so she could keep FDR informed as to the state of the nation. So she told him what was going on in the nation. Remember, he has polio, so it's hard for him to get around. So she was his eyes and ears. Um, and she, he honestly, he referred to Eleanor as his legs since his mobili mobility was severely limited by the crippling effects of polio. So her legacy. Uh, she was instrumental in ending discriminatory practices associated with New Deal legislation. As a, as a supporter of women's activism, she was also instrumental in convincing FDR to appoint, appoint more women to government positions. And following World War II, Eleanor Roosevelt became the first lady of the world due to her service with the United Nations. And some credit... Eleanor's actions with the changing African-American voters from supporting Republican candidates to supporting Democrat candidates. Now, let's think about that for a second. Why would they support Republican candidates to begin with? Well, initially, African-Americans, when they tended to vote, tended to rep support Republican Party because it was the Republican Party uh, that helped during um, the Reconstruction era after the Civil War when they were trying to rebuild the nation. And it was Republicans that fought for the rights of African-Americans and um, created uh institutions like agencies like the Freedmen's Bureau and things like that to try to help African Americans transition from slavery into becoming citizens of the United States. So um, that's why they traditionally voted Republican, but it was really a lot. Some people actually credit Eleanor Roosevelt from shifting uh, most African Americans from the Republican Party to the Democrat Party. She is also credited with changing the role of first ladies from that of passive spouses to women who use their um, to passive from passive spouses to women who use their position to influence and address societal issues. And so no longer were first ladies supposed to just sit there and support the president, but instead they were supposed to take on roles that helped um, and use their position as one of power um, to reach out to the people. So, and every first lady thereafter has carried on that tradition. All right. Um, maybe not so much though, because Eleanor Roosevelt is still considered um, the most influential first lady. Oops, sorry, I'm just trying to back to the recording.